Good morning, and uh, yeah, welcome. Find me up at um, Kings Weir, day ticket fishery, in hope of a barbel or a chub. It's, um, I think since the last barbel vlog, I've not been out, I think that was November. Yeah, November, kept promising myself I'm gonna come out and go barbel fishing. As you know, all my vlogs are miles away from home. And with the rivers up and down, there's been all the severe flooding, especially up around the Coalport area and everything. So I just haven't ventured up there. That's not to say the odd person hasn't caught a barbel because you see on social media, but as I always say, for everyone who's caught one, there's probably a couple of hundred people who didn't. And for me personally, the rivers are just too dangerous up there when they're in flood. So aside of the long journey and everything, I'm not prepared to risk my life for a fish. That said, I really wanted to get out before the end of the season. So I've come along to Kings Weir. It's only 40 miles from home. So not a bad little journey up here. Phoned up last week. And what you do, you phone up go on their website, get the phone number, phone up, make sure there's some available pegs. If there's available peg, you book it over the phone and then from their website, you get an option to go and pay for your booking. And uh, I'm not sure how long they hold it for. I did it while I was on the phone. I was on the phone and on my iPad and paid for it whilst I was talking to the lady where you book it. I don't know a lot about here. I mean, the Lee, I think it's kept a bit quiet. There are good barbel in here now. I fished it six years ago. I came up here, I've only ever fished it once, and I fished right up the top end in peg number one, right next to the weir. Uh, lost quite a lot of tackle in, there's a lot of boulders and things in the water there, and had a few huge bream out of there. But to be honest, the noise of the weir beat me, and I went home you're allowed to fish here at 8 a.m. till 10 p.m. I think I'd given up and gone home at about four o'clock because the noise of the weir just beat me. That said, I'm definitely going to come back and give it another go up there because in the summer they should be up there. But yeah, what, what else can I say about it? It's, uh, well, this particular peg I'm in, I think I'm about 200 yards from my car, which is really nice compared to the long treks I'm normally doing with all my gear on my back. So I came down here, just had a few casts around with a bare lead, and um, it's actually quite shallow in front of me. I'll um, turn this camera around, see if I can sort of show where we are. Yeah, so, I mean, this tree over there, it's shallow off of there and all the way along that middle section there all the way along there it's quite shallow over the back it's quite shallow and then what I did find is literally just down there in front of me I was plod 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 and you go shallow 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 deep and then deeper still and um, so I've dropped the bait in there I've put some hemp down there a bit of um, ground bait in there and everything and I will keep trickling pellets on that spot for certainly for the rest of the day let's turn this camera back around because to quote there's Taylor <laughs> if you find if you're just coming along and your bottom's going even 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 hole to quote there's that's where the barber will be if they're in your peg that's where they're going to be so I'm going to keep trickling baits just in front of me. Obviously, I've got to keep quiet because uh, I'm sure if they're uh, you're all running around, jumping up and down on this gravel, that's not good for fish when I'm literally six foot away. I'm fishing from myself, but that's the plan. Um, the river's slightly in flood still. It's I guess normally there's just next to me is the normal peg that you would fish, but they've built this stand so as when, there is, when it is in flood, there's still at least one peg that somebody can fish. But yeah, as I said, you go online, it's um, 16 pounds for the day. So 
So, not bad really. There's a member section from here on. I think this is the last peg in the uh, day ticket section. And then the member section is down there. Um, I'm sure there's a big queue, uh, waiting list to get on the members stretch. I think it's about £120 a year and you're only allowed one rod. Same hours, I think they can fish up till 10 o'clock at night. And um, yeah, that's maybe something for the future, go on that waiting list, because this is a lot closer to home. But we'll see what we can do, you know. I've got my normal array of baits here. I've got pellets, I've got boilies, ground bait, various hook baits. I've got meat, I've got maggots, I've got bread. I've got worms, so um, yeah, I'm just going to give it, give it everything a go today. For a while, I will. If nothing's happening on the bottom. I will put the uh, float out and chop down for a bit, see if we can get anything. What I'm doing at the moment, I'm, I'm trickling um, hemp along that middle line, although it's shallow. I'm trickling some hemp along there, and then I will trot a float down there with some maggots. Just see what we can do, and if that doesn't work, a bit of bread on there. See if we can pick up a chub at least today. But anyway, yeah, I'm probably waffling on and this will get edited out to try and get it down to a decent time scale. But yeah, hopefully update the uh, vlog a bit later on with uh, fish. See you then. Okay, welcome back. So it's, uh, yeah, it's early afternoon now, two o'clock. Certainly a lot chillier than it was this morning. Um, on the fish front, the fact you haven't seen any fish means I haven't had any. Not for lack of trying. I mean, this nearing rod, I'm just kept trickling helix pellets and hemp in, and I'm just going to keep trickling them in all day. So there's a smell down there. So hopefully this evening the fish will come along close in and drop down on that bait. The other rod, I've been roving around a bit with it, tried different baits on it. I think I started off on the lunch of meat. I've put a maggot rig on it, that hasn't done anything. Um, I've tried worms on it, that hasn't done anything. Tried bread on it, that hasn't done anything yet. And um, yeah, I'm just about to change that over to a uh, cheesy garlic um, pellet with some paste around it and see if we can get anything on that. Um, there's a chat now, well, at least I could see for the tree when I span around that I looked at just to my left. I didn't realise there's another peg just there, so there's a chap in there now. I mean, that, that's a very limited peg. He hasn't got much water at all. At least I've got all to my right. There's no pegs down. Well, I so say there's no pegs down there. There is one on the other side, but it looks like it's disused at the moment. But who knows, one day that may be a peg. Yeah, at the moment, I'm keeping one rod to the right. Um, I've tried to find various deeper spots, looking at how the water vortex is in the middle just out here, I would suggest that there's um, boulders or rocks or there's something under the water, but it'll flick out with the lead and you don't find anything down there. So. Not really sure. I'm, so I'm, one rod is fishing in pretty shallow water, and then I, I think I showed this morning as I lowered the rod down. I'm probably in seven foot, just in front of me. And um, if I had to put money on it, that's the rod I would expect to go. Maybe this evening. You know, I'm planning to sit it out till about eight o'clock, I reckon. Like I say, you could stay till ten, but I always harp on about up on the seven on the section I fish you're not allowed to stay past dark and I'm always harping on I reckon that first hour into dark you could have one so uh, that's what I'm thinking today certainly give it an hour and um, yeah hopefully updating this vlog with some fish or a fish um, yeah and um, just put the well it's not star lights I've put, um, I think it's a shark make them the light that goes on your rod chip, so um, they'll be on in a few hours time so I can see the uh, tips in the dark and hopefully one of them hoops over and it's a barbel, uh, we'll see. So yeah, not a lot to report, but 
be back later on to either wrap this up or show you a fish yeah see you then okay welcome back so um yeah as you can see i'm under the umbrella now it's turned really cold it's four o'clock just repositioned the uh well certainly won the rods i've put it close in your eight foot close into the margin just past what would be a willow tree later in the year because it's all sparse at the moment but yeah if you was fishing the other side you'd love to be able to get that close to that depth of water under that tree so that's out there with a bit of bait under there and um, still continued with this rod close in on this side baiting it up nothing's happened interestingly earlier coots were diving in the middle and um, not where I've been putting bait but I guess that's spots that people possibly feed up normally and I was tempted just to uh, put a bait on there but it is very shallow and uh, yeah who knows they may come along there in the evening but I've got all my eggs in one basket with my close in rods now as I say it's four o'clock the chap next to me has just wound in his mate up in the weir pool has just phoned him to say he's got a big one in the net so uh, at least someone's had one that's the only fish I think that's been caught so far today but um, yeah as I say four o'clock so four more hours I'm going to give it and hopefully we can nick one um, yeah I'll do a little wrap up before I pack up or hopefully I'm putting the camera on because I've got a fish on so speak to you in a bit well that's it no no fish yet I'm gonna sit out for another 45 minutes but it's seven o'clock now or call the past seven so gonna sit out for another 45 minutes and uh, if we do manage to nick one I'll put it on the I'll find a way of putting it onto the vlog but um what have I learned today not a lot um tried every bait under the sun as I said I even tried at one point I had worm and maggots out there and um when I bought that in and just curiosity I thought I wonder what that looks like under the water so I put it down in the water and to the right of me where it was uh, the flooded swim and uh Wow, well, yeah, if there was any perch or chub in the area, they surely couldn't have resisted that worm. It was going mental underwater, which is interesting to see. I've always wondered what a worm does underwater. So, um, yeah, that's what it does anyway. So that didn't work. Um, and then I think I finished the last one. The guy had just gone off to see his mate had had a fish. And that was amazing. A 19 pounds, six ounce barbel. Um, that will definitely be in Angling Times next week if you're watching this this week. So, uh, yeah, £19 sits. I say this, it's not an easy fishery, this stretch of the river, but that's why people come here. Even I didn't know there were fish that big in here. That's huge. But, yeah, what else have I done? I've moved one rod over to the back. Weirdly, between four and sort of five, the river dropped two foot. I don't know where the, where the water's gone, but that, I think I showed this morning, next to me was all flooded, and where I put the worm was under was a flooded swim. Well, that's a foot below. The swim's all clear, and it's another foot down from there. Be a bit awkward to land a fish, if I'm honest, if I do get one. But nonetheless, I've left that rod out there. Obviously, it was in eight foot. It's now probably in about six foot of water. And the flow's completely gone, so I've put a piece of meat over the back it's quite shallow over there but put a load of ground bait out there was cooted out at first but then the coots I guess got full up so they've gone and uh, yeah that's where the rods are like I say if I can get something I will put it on this uh, vlog I'll cut it in but if not it will be um, possibly my last river session because I was hoping to come back here next week but speaking to the lady she said um, after tomorrow every swim's booked every day now to the end of the season so um, possibly my last river vlog and, uh, possibly going to end on a blank which isn't good but um, that's fishing for you so what I would say you know if you want to give this a go go on their website and have a look at all the details it's easy to book secure parking um, 
it's a bit weird, little bridge you drive over. I'm not looking forward to driving over that tonight in the dark. It's not a lot wider than my car. But yeah, anyway, nice little fishery. Not easy. But yeah, I think that's it really for, um, as I said, for this year. But I will definitely come back next season, have a go on here, see if I can get a uh, barbel or decent chub out the uh, King's Weir stretch of the Lee. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, there's a uh, subscribe button somewhere down here. As I always say, any subscribers appreciated. See you on the bank in the near future.